The Switch port of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy will soon be upon us, with its September 3rd release date quickly approaching. And although we already know what the trilogy is all about because it's been out on the Xbox and PS4 since November last year, there's still a few questions which I'm intrigued to learn the answer to. The most prominent of these questions revolves around the probability of a day one download in order to play games 2 and 3, and if there is going to be such a download required, how much space can we expect it to take up of our valuable Switch memory? To answer all of these questions, I'm going to split the video up into three key parts. These being part one, what the download is all about. Part two, will the download be required in North America and Europe? And part three, how big would such a download be on the Nintendo Switch? Anyway, let's get into it. If you're unaware of the Spyro Reignited trilogy, or maybe just haven't looked into what the day one download was all about, I'll quickly explain the basics to you. Unlike most games, and certainly sibling the Crash Insane trilogy, there was so much content in the Reignited trilogy, like the original file size was nearly 70GB on the PS4, that Activision and Toys for Bob on release literally couldn't fit the whole game on the standard 50GB Blu-ray disc the Xbox One and the PS4 use. Instead, the whole of the first game, Spyro the Dragon, was included on the disc, but parts of the second, which is Ripto's Rage, and the third, Spyro Year of the Dragon, were not. So, although you could play the first one without the online download, to play the whole trilogy, you had to attain the day one download of 20 gigabytes, which required an internet connection. Without over-exaggerating, it's fair to say this aggravated some for fair reasons, such as the memory space it took up, or more commonly, because not everybody has access to good internet. It is important to note though that since then, they've managed to compress the size of the trilogy down from nearly 70GB to 36 on the PS4, so if it was a newly released game today on the platform, surely it would all be on the disc. Knowledge of the new compressed file size on the PS4 will become valuable shortly. So, will we need a day one download on the Nintendo Switch in order to play the whole trilogy? Well, we know for a fact that if you live in North America, you've got a day one download heading your way for sure, but there has been suggestions that this won't be the case for us Europeans. As the Nintendo Life article last month alerted me to, on the North American based Best Buy's website, the box art on the Reignited Trilogy states a digital download is required, but on the box art for retailers selling to Europe, that isn't the case. Yes! Final redemption for that horror show of a title we in Europe got served up. A gateway to glimmer, what a load of rubbish that was. Yeah, you North Americans thought you got it all with Ripto's Rage, but at least we don't require a day one download of the Reignite trilogy on Switch. Oh, shh. Keep your horns on, Spyro! From the moment I read this theory, for me, it just lacked realism. Why would Activision give North America the crappy end of the stick? In theory, it is possible, maybe for sales in Europe they stick the game on a bigger cartridge so then the download wouldn't be required, but I don't understand why they would do that. For me, the Spyro official website clears it up when it literally says, requires content download via internet, and the box art retains the warning about the required download for both the United States and the United Kingdom options. I guess I could be wrong, but I would be shocked if we didn't all need to do the day one download to play all three games. The million dollar question then, how much memory will this day one download take up on Switch? Oh, and by the way, I'm talking about if you buy a physical copy of the game here. If you buy the digital version of the game, it's obviously going to take up a lot more space than just the day one download. Now this might get a little complicated in places, so please do bear with me here. And if you've got any questions or thoughts, please feel free to share them in the comments and I'll get back to you on them. The first thing we have to consider is, how many gigabytes will the Spyro Reignited Trilogy be in total, including what will be contained within both the Switch cartridge and the day one download combined? This is also going to be pretty much the size of the digital version of the game if you want to purchase it that way. To do this, I'm going to look at how successful Activision have been in shrinking down file sizes for the Nintendo Switch in the past, using the Crash Insane trilogy and the PlayStation 4 as the benchmark. 
So the Crash Insane trilogy had a file size of about 24 gigabytes on the PS4, but on the Switch, they managed to shrink that down to 5.2 gigabytes, which is over four times smaller. With the Reunited trilogy now having a file size of 36 gigabytes on the PS4, if we divide that by four, we should in theory be looking at a file size on Switch of about nine gigabytes. Now this isn't 100% accurate obviously, and that figure doesn't take into account that they've already done a lot of good work on the PS4 file size to shrink it down to 36GB from nearly double that at first release. Consequently, I think the file size might be slightly bigger than 9GB, but seeing as we're using the logic from the Insane Trilogy in this video, I don't think we'll be looking at anything much larger than a complete file size of 12 to 16 gigabytes. Just as an example, we'll go forward with 12GB, but I think the Spyro Reignited Trilogy file size on Switch could be anywhere in the range of 9 to 16 gigs. So as I just said, we're taking forward 12GB as the file size we're predicting the game will be in this video. Now, although that gives us the size of the memory the game will take up if you're purchasing it from the Nintendo eShop, what if you're buying it physically? How much of the game can go on the cartridge, and how much will you have to download onto your Switch's 36GB memory? To understand this, let's take a look at how big Switch cartridges are. Well, it actually depends on which one you're talking about, because they come in a variety of sizes, those being 1GB, 2GB, 4GB, 8GB and 16GB, and there's even supposed to be a 32GB one on the way, but that doesn't really matter right now. Because most games are put onto either the 8GB or 16GB cartridge, and if our maths is right there'd basically be no need for an additional digital download was the game to be on the 16GB cartridge, we are almost certainly looking at an 8GB cartridge size being used for the Reignited trilogy. Activision have used 8GB cartridges for both the Insane trilogy and CTR Nitro Car as well, and they're cheaper than the larger alternative, so it's probably going to be that. Ultimately, the day one download size on the Nintendo Switch will be the total size of the game, minus about 8GB which will be included on the cartridge, so if the Reignited Trilogy on Switch is around 12GB in size, and 8 of those can fit on the cartridge, 12 minus 8 equals 4, so we're probably looking at a day one download of around 4GB. It'll be fascinating to see what happens though, and I'll be sure to keep you all updated. This video was all educated speculation, but what do you think? How big do you think the day one download will be on the Nintendo Switch and does it bother you that it's going to be there? Let me know down in the comments. If you have enjoyed today, please help us out by sharing this with a friend, hitting that like button and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'm super looking forward to taking Spyro on the go with me and I can't wait to cover the game more, but until next time, Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.